Today we are going to quickly build a barrel. Let's press K, add a blank object, call it barrel, and press OK until the menu disappears. Let's select the arc tool and draw a curve like this. Reduce the shape a bit and press enter and K. Expand the menu, click spin and change the axis to Z. I'm going to press numpad zero to switch the user perspective. And okay, so this is kind of a barrel. I could put this on and make it look like this, but what if we wanted to see all the planks separately? And to do that, we are going to employ array modifier along with the spin. Let's first uh, reduce the spin angle. I'm going to shrink it down to, to one of the planks. And uh, I'm going to type 22.5. Let's reduce the spin steps. I'm also going to turn off volume and loop. So this is all we are left with. And let's turn on array, expand the options. I don't want to array it along the X. Let's set this to zero. I want to make the duplicates in a rotational manner around Z axis. Let's type the same number we used before, 22.5 and increase the copies. So we have a total of 16 copies. Also, let's turn on slice thickness, increase the thickness value to something you like. Let's add also some bevel so we can see the individual pieces of board. I'm going to reduce the bevel value a tad. We can also increase the spin steps to make each piece of plank a bit more rounded. We can also reduce the simplification. And now we can reduce or increase the number of planks as we choose. We can increase the number of pieces by adjusting the rotation angles. Just uh, keep in mind that I use the same rotational value on both array and spin, because 22 and a half is 360 degrees when you multiply it by 16. And that's it. We can go ahead and build the uh, metal rings if we choose to. And why not? Let's do that. Press K to set this. Uh, I'm going to reset the operator presets. Alt 1, go to camera view. Let's press D for the pen. And I'm going to manually draw something like this. Press K. Go to user perspective again. This time I'm only going to use the spin. Let's increase the spin steps to 46. And let's also mirror this. Expand the options, not along X, but Z. You can also add the top and bottom lids. So let's just do that. Now that I have you over a barrel, press K to set the metal rings. I'm going to reset this again. Press zero to switch the camera view, Alt one for the front view, and I'm going to turn on X-ray so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put a lid right about here. And for that, all I'm going to do is just draw a single line like this, the thickness of the plank, and press K. Let's switch the user perspective, turn off x-ray and we're going to turn on spin and adjust the axis to z and let's do the same thing again let's put this 46 steps so it'll match the curvature let's mirror this as well turn off x we just need z press k to set them and i guess we could have uh, separate these into individual pieces so let's do that press alt v to switch the object mode Select the mesh barrel and shift right click to where we want and shift control right click and now top lid is separated and let's do the same with the bottom one and let's hide the barrel maybe I'm going to hide the second one too select the barrel one object press K shift right click on it and then alt 7 to align the canvas looking up and our camera is also up there. You can tell from this blue dotted line. Press zero to switch to camera view. If you have seen the boat 
tutorial, you know what I'll be doing. Press enter, press K, restore operator presets, turn on add. Let's give this a little thickness. And I want the extrusion to go the other direction and turn on smart join. I turned on add for now, but we are going to use this to cut into this other object like this. And let's turn on array, expand the menu, reduce this X offset a bit, and then let's give it a few more copies. Okay, if this looks right to you, press K. Let's restore the operator presets. And this time I'm going to use mirror while this object is still selected. Turn on base because we want to mirror the object itself, the base object, which is this lid that we just created. And we want to mirror it just like the other one on not the Z axis, we want Y axis because uh, everything on Sketch and Car is relative to the canvas. So Y axis is the depth in relation to the canvas. Since the canvas is lying on its side right now, this becomes the Y axis. Press K again and second the lid. We no longer need that, so let's delete it and turn on the barrel itself. Here we are. Thanks for watching. See you next time.